is Hermes Press fans. Dan Herman, publisher of Hermes Press, with a very special historic book about Major Malcolm Wheeler Nicholson. If you don't know who the Major was, by the time I get through talking, you will. I'm sure, and I'm not sure of a lot of things, but I'm sure that if you're a fan of comic books, you've heard of DC Comics. Well, DC Comics didn't start out that way. It started out as National Allied Periodicals, and it was created and founded by Major Malcolm Wheeler Nicholson. A couple of years ago, I was approached by his granddaughter, who, who I'd, I'd known before, uh, Nikki Wheeler Nicholson. And Nikki wanted to do a book about her grandfather and about the comic books that had, were produced by National Allied Periodicals. Uh, we'll just call it National. Uh, during the mid-30s when the company was created, now, you have to understand that the Major uh, had been a novelist, a pulp novelist, a journalist, uh, and many different things before he started uh, National. And he was deadly serious about creating a company that was going to offer a new form of entertainment, that is, original comic book stories versus the stories that were compilations of new newspaper strips like Famous Funnies. So... We now have, and it's now available in stores everywhere, as well as uh, through Hermes Press, Diamond, any bookstore, and on Amazon.com, DC Comics before Superman. Now, the reason it's DC Comics before Superman is because there was litigation which resulted in the major losing his interest in National. And that was precipitated by the Donenfeld family, who became the owners of national and upon the dissolution of the major's interests uh, in very quick succession they published action one which had Superman in it isn't that a coincidence but this book deals with the history of the the history and origins of, of DC comics starting at national and discusses in great detail the Here's the first, here's, here's the introduction page. Now here's one of the covers to a pulp that has a story that was written by the Major. And what this book does is it explains how DC Comics was started here, a couple more pulps. It shows you the pulp covers and it shows you the original comics like New Fun, which had original comic book stories in them. And as you can see, if you look up close, the introduction uh, to this book was written by none other than Jim Steranko. And I think there, again, I can make another definitive statement. One of the definitive books on the history of Golden Age comics, actually the two of them, were written by Jim Steranko in the 70s, and they are a monumental contribution uh, to people's understanding about what was going on during that time in comic book history. And they're very important books that are out of print. And if you're serious about comics, you have to have those books. So we have in this book work by Siegel and Schuster. This is a uh, two-page story they wrote when they were in high school because Siegel and Schuster worked for the major and did strips for him. You have pictures of the Donenfelds. And this is a picture of uh, the two Donenfeld brothers and Jack Leibowitz who uh, were effectively running uh, their company, which took over National from the Major. We have pictures of more pulps, which explain the stories that he wrote. We have a chapter. Here's what he looked like. Here's a picture of the Major. Here are more pictures. So this book is a very serious look at the origins of that company. And in order to more completely illustrate what was going on, um, original comic book continuities, because these were printed uh, at two to four pages per issue in different comic books. We have almost complete stories from Barry O'Neill and Fang Gao of China, and a number of the comic book stories that were printed under the tutelage of the major. And the reconstruction is, as usual, spot on thanks to Trey Musquire, our production manager, who did all of the digital reconstructions. And a number of people were involved in this book. 
Uh, and this is Nikki Wheeler Nicholson's project. This has been something that she has been working on for years. Uh, obviously, she had help from other people. Uh, David Armstrong was uh, extremely important in bringing together the material, the raw material which we used in uh, putting this book together, together with a lot of the photographs and documentary material. So a shout out to David Armstrong for his help in this book. Of course, uh, there was also a lot of support from different individuals. Uh, one of the people who has backed this project is on our panel at Comic-Con and has been extremely supportive of Nikki Wheeler Nicholson um, is uh, Michael Uslan, who is on our panel and has um, encyclopedic knowledge of this era of uh, National and uh, DC Comics, who was very, very, very informative during our panel. Uh, here is another one of the comic book stories, The Monastery of the Blue God. Um, here is another, this is a complete story, The Blood Pearls, which is again taken from a pulp uh, story that was written by the Major. Interestingly enough, they were also adapting very classic tales. For instance, She was adapted into a comic book. Here is a couple of pages from She. Now, for those of you who are going to buy this book and ask the following question, gee, Dan, why is some of this stuff in black and white and then on the next page it's color? It's because that's the way they printed it in the comic books. Nothing has been changed from the way these appeared in the comic books. Now, they've been digitally reconstructed and they've been cleaned up and they've been made to look a lot better than the material they received, but we haven't altered it in that we've removed the color from it or we've added the color to it. And so you will have a story where one page is black and white and then one page is black and white with red. And then you'll have a lot of these uh, stories that are, are, are in, in full color. But this is material that I highly doubt anyone has ever seen unless you collect these comic books, which are exceedingly rare uh, and extremely expensive to buy, even in fair or poor condition. And it's a fairly long book, and it contains a lot of information and a lot of stories. And if you're interested in the history of comics and the, you're interested in the origins of DC and you want to see material that you've never seen, this book is an absolute must. So get out there and buy it! So that's all for now. Bye-bye.